Hello, this is Freedom Cobra, and uh, I'd like to address a couple different things. First of all, I'm a really big Taurus fan because they are known and uh, they make all of their own gun parts, where else just about every other company that I even know of um, outsources some of their parts. I'm not going to get into the name calling business right now, but uh, we'll get into that maybe in another video. Okay, so this is the Taurus PT-92, which is very similar to the Beretta 92. In my opinion, this is better. I'll probably mention that in another video, but that's not what this is about. This is about the Black Hawk Serpa Concealment Holster. Yeah, I'm a lefty. Get over it. Okay. The interesting thing is, is it says it's good for Beretta 92s and 96. Not Elite or Brigadier or M9. A1. That's because those are either uh, shorter in its standard barrel length or, um, what was it? Or they have rails, okay? And these are some pretty tight fitting holsters, alright? Like you have not a lot of room for that kind of stuff in it because everything has to fit securely inside of the holster. Now, where the problem happens is it said Beretta 92. I know that. No trollers can say it. I didn't say that, alright? When I got this, I knew it was going to be a project because the specs of the Beretta to the Taurus are very close except for several different features. Alright? When I originally tried it, there was no way that this thing was going to latch. You understand what I'm saying? It was like Bobby Hill and uh, Hank Hill trying to get along with something. <laughs> Alright, so I had to take several steps. My first step was cutting out the bottom right here at the corner of your latching point because that's how this works. There's this little knob, which you see moving there, that slips behind the trigger guard. Now, unlike Beretta's, Taurus's actually have a thick piece of metal here to brace your finger against and everything else. And uh, if I remember correctly on my service bread, is it didn't even have a scallop. It was pretty much rounded. So the places where it locks behind the trigger guard are very different. First step is cut it out. I cut out probably a little bit more than what you have to, but I wanted to make sure I could see. And it wasn't going to structurally uh, compromise the holster at all. So I got out my little Dremel tool and broke through a couple... Uh, discs, I guess, you know, it's not the best job, but once you get down to this little little clip in there, get a long drill bit or file, and you can work at it from this angle, too, but you start wearing away the front of it. Um, what I did was try to make sure there's a lip so it holds in tighter and at an angle, and you want to check it every little bit to make sure you're not going past that point because now the point I got it to is the point I want it to so I can slip this baby in and pull this back a little bit and it'll clip in very secure now when it takes out it's not just a matter of pressing it but I actually push down on the pistol into the holster and then press the button to release it which I like a little bit better because some people were saying that yeah, you know, it's it's so easy to come up, some hit the button and grab your pistol. Well, this one, they really have to press down into the holster, and if you're wearing it, it's not an issue, and then pull it out. So, if you want to make your Beretta 92 holster, hold your Taurus PT-92, then you just have to basically cut out this top notch so you can get a good sight picture of this little... Uh, trigger guard holding mechanism and get your drill bit or file and just start working maybe watch the ball game or uh, Steven Seagal movie or something like that something where you don't need to pay attention to the plot too much to know what's going on and uh, after that you'll be uh, click rocking and rolling